this lesson we're going to take a look at one of the fastest ways of uh, changing the properties of our objects. I'm talking about the quick properties. Quick properties is like property changer but the small version of that and it's actually a mode here and can, uh, we can turn that on and off by just clicking on this quick properties mode. I'm going to click that to turn that on. Now, uh, I've got a simple mechanical part here and we're going to use that to talk about the quick properties mode there. For example, uh, let me tell you uh, before that that we can't see the quick properties uh, mode and we can't use that before selecting any object. We have to select an object and it's going to pop up here. As you can see it uh, seems uh, just like the properties changer. It's actually uh, exactly the same thing but the smaller version of that. Now we can change this uh, circles mode or we want. For example, the layer, the radius. I'm going to change the radius to uh, 15 here. I'm going to enter, and we can click this X here to close that, or we can press Escape to deselect that circle and to get out of that quick property. Now let's talk about that quick properties. Uh, pop up itself. There's an options icon here that we can click on that and with that we can customize that uh, by coming to this uh, window here. We can select any object here that we're going to talk about that a little later and there are all the icons we can turn on. Let's close this and talk about this a little later. Now, if I select that circle again, now you see it's a bumpy pattern here. This is the handle that we can uh, drag this uh, properties window here if uh, in our end and uh, now let's deselect that circle there and let's see what we've got here now these circles are on wrong layers we're going to change that layer uh, by selecting those and putting those in the cyan here. Now let's talk a little about the this box itself again. We can come here and go to the settings and from that settings we can make the some changes to that box that pops up here. That property manager there. Go to the for example, you can change the maximum number of rows when uh, our cursor is not on that. The default is 3, we can change that or we can uh, change the palette location. Uh, in this case it's cursor dependent. Uh, that means wherever our cursor is, uh, the, that window is going to pop up right there. And actually not right there, there's a distance in pixel. Uh, for that it's going to appear 50 pixels away from the, our cursor or we can change it to sta static and uh, that means uh, that window is going to pop up the, in the place that we exited that uh, the previous time I'm going to put a dead cursor dependent for now or we can change all of these other settings here. Now I'm not going to go through all of those. I'm going to press cancel or for example 
let's deselect this uh, and I want to say that uh, not all the objects have the same properties as you know uh, for example this uh, dimension here now that dimension is uh, on the wrong layer but as you see there's no layer properties here now we can change that we can change it by pressing this customize or clicking on this and selecting the customize going to click on that icon and we can add that properties add that property to that uh, dimension I right, just come in here uh, looked at our object is selected already we can drag and find the properties that we want in this case uh, it the layer and click OK now if you select that dimension again there's a layer right here and we can change that to the dimensions right from here I'm going to press escape now let's change this circles diameter to a radius to 0.25 and press enter to press escape now this uh, dimension uh, is on the wrong layer as well we click select that as you see there's no layer option for this as well that's because this dimension uh, is different this is for radius and that is for the distances between two points uh, and that means that those are different objects kind of so we can do the same thing to this one we can add the layer time or the layer properties to this and with that by selecting it once more can change it very easily using the quick, quick properties tool we can change our uh, properties uh, much faster because the options are uh, only inches away from our cursor